United States. The U.S. is developing two sixth-generation fighter programs, the Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance and the Navy's FAXX. Both projects aim to revolutionize air combat, offering unmatched stealth, AI-enhanced decision-making, advanced propulsion, weaponry, and a networked battle capability. Surpassing their fifth-generation predecessors, the F-22 and F-35, NGAD, Air Force, the next-generation air dominance, NGAD, is the U.S. Air Force's ambitious project to replace the F-22 Raptor, featuring variable cycle engines, XA-100, XA-101 for fuel efficiency and adaptability, advanced stealth using composite materials, and smart skins with embedded sensors, top speed of Mach 2.8 at altitudes of 20, thousand to twenty two thousand meters ESA radar and infrared systems for detecting stealth aircraft advanced weapons including air-to-air -air missiles notably the aim 260 joint advanced tactical missile JATM and potentially hypersonic systems FAXX the FAXX will replace the FA 18 EF Super Hornet by the 2030s featuring cyber warfare capabilities and enhanced sensor connectivity support for missile systems and potential directed energy weapons Mach 1.5 5 speed with payload and range surpassing the Super Hornet. Carrier-based operations from Nimitz and Ford-class carriers. Major defense contractors like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman are involved in the development, with both programs expected to enter service in the early 2030s. These fighters will ensure the U.S. maintains air superiority amid growing global competition, especially from China and Russia, France, Germany, and Spain. The Future Combat Air System, FCAS, is a collaborative initiative among France, Germany, and Spain to develop a sixth-generation air combat system featuring the new generation fighter NGF and remote carriers drones. This project aims to replace France's Rafales, Germany's Typhoons, and Spain's EF-18 Hornets, establishing a European-made high-stealth aircraft. The FCAS encompasses a comprehensive combat system including engines, two MTU Safran afterburning engines providing 20,000 to 30,000 pounds of thrust, reaching speeds of Mach 1.6. Multi-Domain Combat Cloud, MDCC, ensures connectivity with ground, naval, aerial, space, and cyberspace systems. Advanced Stealth Technology. Next Generation Weapon System, NGWS, exploring innovative armaments, including air-launched lasers, integrating unmanned aircraft, and remote carriers for enhanced operational flexibility. Initiated by France and Germany in 2017, with Spain joining in 2019, the FCAS aims for operational readiness by 2040. Key players include Dassault Aviation, Airbus, Indra Sistemas, and Thales Group, supported by a consortium of over 35 companies to leverage a broad expertise base in developing advanced technologies. United Kingdom, Italy, and Japan. The Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, is a collaborative initiative between the United Kingdom, Italy, and Japan to develop a sixth-generation fighter known as Tempest, aiming to replace the UK's Typhoon, Italy's Eurofighter, and Japan's Mitsubishi FX, Tempest is set to become one of the world's most advanced and adaptable fighter jets. Key features of Tempest, Next Generation Flight Control System, integrates advanced controls for enhanced maneuverability, operations with unmanned aircraft, facilitates a network of drones and other platforms, advanced sensors, provides superior battlefield awareness, networking capabilities, connects with ground, naval, aerial, space, and cyberspace systems. Wearable cockpit features virtual reality helmets for interactive displays and controls. Next generation weapons expected to include hypersonic missiles, nuclear weapons, and directed energy weapons. Advanced technologies incorporates AI, machine learning, and autonomous systems. Advanced stealth features powerful next generation radar process 10,000 times more data than current systems, delivering a significant battle-winning advantage. Officially unveiled in 2018, Tempest is expected to achieve readiness by around 2035. The GCAP represents a pivotal partnership focused on shared military objectives and enhancing each nation's combat air capabilities. Key industry leaders involved include BAE Systems, Leonardo, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, ensuring a strong foundation for innovation and technological advancement. China? The J-28 is China's anticipated sixth-generation stealth fighter, emerging from a highly secretive military aviation program. Unveiled through concept art, the J-28 features a tailless design reminiscent of the U.S. next-generation air dominance, N-Jet fighter. Specifics about its sensors, avionics, weapon systems, speed, and engines remain classified. The program aims to create a system of systems that facilitates coordination among various military assets. Expected key features include Drone teaming capability, 
integrates unmanned aircraft to boost combat effectiveness. Artificial intelligence employs AI for enhanced decision-making and operational support. Omnidirectional sensors ensures comprehensive situational awareness and battlefield intelligence. Advanced weapon systems expected to utilize hypersonic and directed energy weapons such as lasers. Stealth capabilities designed to significantly reduce radar signature for improved stealth. Advanced networking enhances connectivity across ground, naval, aerial, space, and cyberspace platforms. China has actively developed the J-28 since beginning pre-research on sixth-generation aircraft in January 2019. Following the success of the fifth-generation J-20, the J-28 is expected to enter service by 2035, positioning China as a leader in sixth-generation fighter technology. Russia, Russia's sixth-generation fighter, the MiG-41, or PAC-DP, is an ambitious project by Mikoyan aimed at replacing the aging MiG-31 interceptor. This next-generation stealth aircraft is designed to offer advanced capabilities far beyond those of current fifth-generation fighters. Key features, stealth technology, advanced radar signature reduction for superior evasion, extreme speeds expected to exceed Mach 4, outpacing fifth-generation jets, high-altitude operation, capable of operating at near space altitudes, a major advancement, advanced weapons equipped with anti-satellite missiles, an anti-missile laser system, and the ability to intercept hypersonic missiles. Unmanned versions offers both manned and unmanned variants, reflecting the shift towards autonomous combat systems. Advanced engines likely to use a variant of the Saturn AL-51 engine, promising increased thrust and improved avionics. Rostec confirmed the project in 2021, with plans for the first flight in 2025 and operational status by the mid-2030s. However, doubts persist due to Russia's struggles with producing its Su-57 fighter, raising questions about the MiG-41's timeline. If successful, the MiG-41 could mark a major leap in global air combat technology. India? Although India is focusing on the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA, a fifth-generation jet, the country is still advancing towards the development of a sixth-generation fighter. In 2020, Air Chief Marshal Rakesh Badaria confirmed plans for this next-gen fighter, aiming to maintain India's competitiveness in global aerospace. The AMCA will act as a bridge expediting 6th gen fighter development with the expected key features and technologies including super stealth, enhanced stealth, reducing infrared and acoustic signatures beyond radar evasion, advanced propulsion, variable cycle engines for superior fuel efficiency and supersonic bursts, hypersonic and directed energy weapons, incorporation of hypersonic weapons and laser systems for rapid response. Networked warfare, real-time data sharing between aircraft, drones, and ground forces for optimized coordination. Smart wingman and autonomy, potential for optionally manned platforms and autonomous drones to support manned fighters. While India's sixth-gen fighter is in the early planning stages, development could start after AMCA production begins in the mid-2030s, with testing anticipated by the 2040s. Significant investment and private sector involvement are essential, but delays may risk falling behind global competitors.